Okay, I'm ready to permanently install this, uh, this panel, but before I do that, I still have to put some uh, insulation in here and a few other small things. So I'll take it off first. Okay, there it is. First, I'll put some leftover denim. In these empty spaces. It's time to put this back on and I'll use these temporary screws to get it in the right place. So now I've got these black screws with a finishing washer. And this went directly into the metal. So that works. So now I'm going to take out these temporary screws and replace them with these black ones. It's time to install this uh, cabinet uh, to the floor and the side cabinet and pull some cables on the side. So I'm using a force nib bit. Yeah. pre-drilled some holes both here as well as here where I'm going to attach it to the floor and I'll make some connections between the two cabinet sides and later on there will be more uh, at the top where the countertop comes Joey Joey
two. Okay, that's one less thing to do. I'm working again in the van, uh, putting the wiring in for my grey water valve. And I decided to put the switch uh, at the center console. And I removed the console, as you can see it's still loose in there. And uh, put a wiring in. And pulled it all the way under the steering wheel to the left door. And then from there, under the rubber seal of the door, I pulled it over the door, over the door window. And then behind this partial black blob, and I pulled it through into my upper cabinets of my... And this is the wiring I pulled. And I left some spaces behind these uh, baskets, which look like... Uh, the background looks like this. The background is attached with these two screws. So I removed those. And then there's enough space left to pull that same wire all the way to the left. That this is where I stopped yesterday. And now I have to drill a hole here in the left to pull the wire into my wardrobe. And then lead it down to a box that I have, which has a couple of bus bars plus and minus. That leads to my 12 volt distribution box near the battery bank. And then I have to continue it down and then through the floor to the valve itself. And then I still wanted to show you my big friend. Hey Joey. Hi. Hey. Yeah, hi. Where are we going? Where do you want to go? The black wire. I splice I took off some of the insulation since I have to continue that black wire I'll just put it together this way okay that looks good okay that's done leave the wire for later and then uh, go back to the center console first to install the switch. That's done, but now the black is on the yellow card. The power is on the other outside. Positive and negative go, go both on the outside and the power to the valve on the middle and that feels good. Have to clean it up as well. Okay, let's see. What we can do out here. So I drilled a hole through the floor and it comes out here. Uh, that's pretty close to the wheel, but it was the only location I could do it. And I guided the wire alongside the, the gray water tank to the valve to make the connection there. So now I'll be able to open the valve from the cabin inside the van. Thank you.
Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.